a warm welcome to Joey Today. I'm Zizi Poindebu. Joe Burgers are all about glitz and glam, not forgetting their need for speed. We visited the largest Porsche dealership in the world right here in Joburg. This is the largest Porsche center in the world by footprint. We moved in here in 2008 and um, it's worked very well for us. It's, it's really a great Porsche lifestyle center. Johannesburg is the center of business in South Africa, Gauteng as well. But we also have Porsche centers in Cape Town and in Schlange. And we're currently building the fourth one now in Pretoria. We wanted to make sure that all the cars were under one roof, our, our new cars and our pre-owned cars. We wanted to make sure all our parts, body shop, marketing activities, training uh, were under one roof. So that dictated, we didn't specifically want it to be the biggest. What happened was it just turned out that way. We do about a thousand Porsches a year here. Hi, my name is John Barker. I'm the director of Spud3 Learning to Fly, and you're watching Joburg Today. Join the conversation on our Facebook page, that's joburgtoday.tv. Follow us on Twitter, at Joburg Today. And if you're one of those people on the move, then pockettv.mobi. That's pocket with an I. Riley got all dressed up at the Fabiani Fashion Store, where formal meets playful. Fabiani is a men's brand um, inspired by Italian, South African brand, which was established in 1978. Our co-founder was Jeff Fabian, and his son later joined him into the business, Ari Fabian. Our target market is actually everyone that's stylish, you know, because we've looked at it and every, there's a bit of everything for everyone in our store. So if you want to be a man in suiting, if you want to be a guy in um, joggers, we've got all that, so you just need to know how to mix it up. I'll tell you one thing with Fabiani, uh, what makes Fabiani unique from other brands is that we are very formal but we also playful so it's like people are not like men are not scared to actually walk into our store because there's that playful vibe and everybody feels welcomed and not intimidated so you've just taken me through the store it's absolutely cool and you got me my new threads we like it but um, just tell us like why exactly did you choose particularly these items for me Okay, so how I usually go through my thought process when styling someone uh, is I listen to what you have to say, right? And if you, I don't know if you've noticed lately, like for guys, um, it's it's just now that we've discovered accessories, you know. So hence why I went for the velvet um, royal blue bow tie, the royal blue um, electric um, bomber. Uh, just to, you know, accentuate that adventurous spirit that you spoke about. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the happy socks also bring it out quite nicely. Fabiani's heritage is formal wear. So with our new autumn winter campaign, A Return to Form, we're bringing the focus back into our suiting, which is our heritage. Uh, but now with that, we've also inherited a bit of uh, a new streetwear, which is sort of like what the trend is moving towards. I mean, you, in order for us to stay relevant, we need to stay with, with the trends and be sort of like a of the curve a little uh, as a fashion brand so there's a, a lot of that uh, you'll see a lot of blues coming through a lot of uh, sport luxury uh, sweats and and that um, so yeah all right looking forward to it uh, you you'll be very pleasantly surprised I bet I will and you guys better keep it locked and loaded right here on Joburg today to find out what actually went down for the Fabiani pre-launch at the Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week Johannesburg Hi, this is Darren Simpson from The Breakfast Express on 947. You watching Joburg Today. 
set in the Royal India of the past, Labaya Day is all about eternal love, fate, vengeance and justice. And we just have to share how the drama unfolds. There are cycles of the big ballets being performed around the world. So internationally, if you now go around the world, they are doing this here, La Bayadere. So it seems like without always planning it, the Joburg Ballet is indeed on par with the rest of the world by staging such a big ballet. And it really is a beautiful story ballet with exquisite dancing. And so Joburg Ballet has worked very hard on creating a ballet that really elevates us to becoming a world-class African ballet company. It's really been a big production, but it's been so exciting to finally be here, to be able to open tomorrow night and do the show, not just prepare for it. Like all classics, you know, it's always about romance. Um, La Baia Day is about a love triangle. It's set in in classic um, Indian, you know, Hindi times, actually. You know, if you think about a very dramatic, extravagant uh, Bollywood movie, it's always about love triangles. And La Baia Day is exactly that. For me as a professional dancer, in the years that I've danced, La Baia Day by far is one of the hardest ballets I've ever done. The third act and the fourth act are filled with ballet and the fourth act in particular is what we call a white ballet. It's because of the white tutus that they all wear and it's one of those things that most ballet aficionados are hugely interested in seeing because it's like Swan Lake, it's like Giselle where you see all of these girls in the white tutus performing the most beautiful steps. Not to brag or anything, but I think our standard is pretty high for this production and I really think it's going to be amazing. I wish I could be in the front watching as well. <laughs> Hi, I'm Spongi Legunene and you're watching Jobek Today. For more on the city, check out our playlist as well as business destination Joburg. That's it from me, Zizi Paul. I leave you with Joburg's version of Happy by Pharrell Williams. Father.